Hello everyone! So today I didn't really know what kind of video to make, so I turned to Instagram and asked you what you would like me to talk about. And a lot of people asked for a Dynamo tutorial, so I guess it's time for another episode of... So today we're going to look at the different ways on how to take something from your Revit project and then load it into your Dynamo graph. So you can then go on and run some transformations on it or whatever it is that you want to do in Dynamo. And as I said, there are different ways on how to do this. But the simplest one would be just to manually pick things in your Revit project. And that is possible with the select model elements node. But of course, we're lazy and don't want to pick things by hand. So I'm also going to show you how you can automate this process. Okay, so let's first open up Dynamo. Depending on what version of Revit you have, you are going to find it somewhere different. But for the 2019 version, it's under the Manage tab. Okay, as I said, the simplest way of bringing an element into Dynamo is the Select Model Element node. There you have it. And the way this... Oh! First of all, of course, we need to set the run mode from automatic to manual. Okay, and the way this node works is you click on select and then it automatically activates the Revit view that you have open and you can select an element just by clicking on it. And then as you can see, it is now selected in this node. And then what we could do with it would be just, for example, to move it by a vector. If we then just put in a vector. And then we need three numbers essentially as x, y and z coordinate. So let's just input them via code block. You can get that through double clicking. So let's say we want to move it along the X axis. So Y and Z would be zero. And then 20 for the X axis. Now let's get a better look so we can actually oops, see what we are doing. and create a quick section. Okay, so this is the window we have selected. And now if we run, you can see it does this tiny move to the right. Let's do it again. Okay, another manual selection tool would for example be the select face tool. And if we select something for this, and now for example, go back to the 3D view, we can see that the cursor automatically only picks the, the um, faces of an element. So for example, for this wall here, I could select this face or this one or this one. So it doesn't select the whole element, but only one of the surfaces. So those were two manual selection tools, but as I said before, there are also nodes to automate the selection for Dynamo. But before we talk about these, it's important to get the Revit hierarchy straight. And this hierarchy goes categories, families, types, instances. If you don't know the difference between those terms, I recommend you watch my basic tutorial on Revit families and categories. But if you're clear with those terms, let's move on now. You can find all of these selection tools if you go here in the library to Revit and then selection. And as you can see, they're all different kinds of nodes that you can use to get things from Revit into Dynamo. And here you can also find the select model element or select face node that we used before. But as you can see, there are also 
select edge or select point on face that you can use to manually grab something in Revit. But there are also other nodes, like for example this, all elements of a category node. So as the name says, this selects all elements of a category. So as an input, we need a category. And this is what this node is for. Here you find a drop down node of all the categories that are in the model. So for example, if you wanted to select all walls, we can type in W and then here select all walls. And if we now run it, we can see that it has accumulated a list of all the walls that are in the project. And then very similar to this, we could also use the all elements of a family type node. And then just like with the categories, take here this family type node. And then you have a drop down menu of all the different types that are in this project. And of course, especially in a large project, this will be a huge number to choose from. So for example, if we want to select this chair, we would need to look up the name and then the name of the type and then find it here. Dining chair. But another way to do this would be to use the get type node, which takes in a family instance and returns the type of given instance. So for example, if we take our select model element node now, so this will return a family instance. So an element essentially, and then return the type of the element. So if we select now the chair in the model, it will return us a list of all the chairs that are in this project, which is eight. So the eight ones that you can see here, oops. And now, for example, I could move them Let's run it again and take a look here and they move a little bit. Yeah, and those were some different ways of how to take something from Revit and use it in your Dynamo. As you can see, there are some other nodes as well. For example, all elements of one certain level. You can just play around with these nodes, get to know them so you can find out which one su uh, suits your purpose best. And also, if you want to gain a little more practice on this topic, you can read the article here on selecting from Dynamo Primer. I will put the link in the description box. And if you want to practice, there's a very cool exercise in the end with the original Revit file and the Dynamo script attached. So you can work through that Dynamo Primer is a very good source for learning Dynamo, so I can highly recommend it to you. So that was it for today. I hope you liked this video and then I will see you next time. Bye bye.